Hi, this is Judy from So Easy Sewing in Bristol, Tennessee, and I'm going to do a very a basic class on the Verve that some of you have already purchased from us, and some of you that might be interested in purchasing it can see how easy it is to use. So I'm going to go through all the basics on this machine, so uh, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to move you a little bit closer. All right. And hopefully my fingers don't get in your way, but here we go. So your basic screen when it comes on is a rolling, uh, rolling pictures. So you have to touch it for it to um, engage. We're in the sewing mode right now, and you can see the different sewing stitches that are appearing on this little screen. So you have your start stop button right here. It's red right now. That means my foot is up. It also means um, that I can sew with this machine without using the foot pedal. If the foot pedal were engaged, I would get a message telling me that to use this that way, I would need to unplug the foot pedal. You have your reverse button right above that, your needle up, needle down, built-in scissors. This is a wonderful feature. Speed control. It goes from very slow to moderate to fast. Your L CD screen. This is your return in the menu of the screen itself. This one right here actually locks the screen in case you have um, something that you've set and you don't want uh, anybody bumping and changing your settings. These are your arrow through buttons and I can get back. This is your stitch menu. When I click this right here, you're gonna see that a multiple menu comes up and as I touch each one, come back to that one, touch this one, I can arrow through again. This machine's capable also of uh, taking one stitch and adding another stitch so that you can build different stitches that you want. You have your one step buttonhole that's built into it and that is an actual foot that goes on to the sewing mode here. Uh, also, a really nice feature is this uh, return arrow and scissors. What happens when you engage these? One will just do uh, four stitches and a reverse stitch without you actually having to do it uh, by hitting your reverse button. And when you hit this one, it will cut. And I'll show you that later in a little bit of a sewing mode. This button right, whoops, sorry, my finger hit that. I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to go back to more sewing. This right here gives you a visual picture of your stitch and you can do a couple things. You can change the color. So we're going to say okay. This one right here is what I talked about where you can mirror it, add different stitches one at a time. The three stars makes it go continuous. Okay. Um, this next one right here is a fun button. If you're trying to decide uh, about an embroidery design and you choose to look for it right here without your embroidery unit on, you don't have to turn your machine off to get into that embroidery mode. You can just go ahead and check out what's available. Return, uh, check out here, and then you've got your designs. Uh, it's nice, you've got a magnifier so that you can actually see it larger. You would set it. Now, you cannot embroider from here. You need to put your embroidery arm on. So the next button is very important. This is your um, settings button. And in the settings button, you have everything from your frame size uh, to your thread to the size of the little pictures that you're looking at. Needle up, needle down can be permanent. You can turn that little buzzer off. Uh, your lights. So uh, this is a, a, a great one to understand. This is the stitch count of this machine. The 432 number is actually the internal name of the machine and there's times when you need that. And then the version is 1.04. If there were any updates at the Baby Lock site, you would know that if there's a 4.8, that you need to um, update your machine. It can be done by USB stick. Any of you that do not understand how to do that, we're a phone call away. So, and then you would just say, okay. Um, this is fun. This is a video built into the machine. So if you don't know how to use the bobbin winder, this little video is gonna tell you 
uh, some simple instructions on what to do to wind that. You would go through the next one and then the next one and continue till you went through all of the videos. So this is a really short, kind of out of the box video on the Verve. I'm going to continue doing another one so that you see the embroidery side of this machine the same way. Here's a couple samples of embroidery that was done uh, in a small hoop. And then the little cute little Haley, cute little lace Christmas card, and then the card to match it to send out for Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, go to Sew Easy Sewing um, Bristol and check us out. Have a great day.